invite the family and any that would like to stand here uh, with them at this moment. Uh, please come on up. Feel free. The more the merrier. The bigger the crowd, the better. Uh, but first of all, uh, Brian and, and Julie, I understand that you would like to unite with the membership of this church. And so we want to take care of that first. Uh, we're going to ask you the question that we ask everybody when they come uh, to join the church. And that is, would you be faithful to the Woodlawn United Methodist Church and support it with your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness? And if you'll do that, your answer is, we will. Excellent. Well, we uh, rejoice to have you as our newest members of the church, and we're grateful for that. Church, let's give them a hand and welcome them. And so you'd like to have your child baptized today and brought into this faith as well. So, uh, dearly beloved, baptism is an outward and visible sign of the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, through which grace we become partakers of His righteousness and heirs of a life eternal. Those receiving the sacrament are thereby marked as Christ's disciples and initiated into the fellowship of Christ's holy church. Our Lord has expressly given to little children a place among the people of God, which holy privilege must not be denied them. Remember the words of our Lord Jesus Christ and how He said, Let the little children come to Me. Do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. Brian and Julie, um, do you in presenting this child uh, for holy baptism confess your faith in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? And do you therefore accept as your bounden duty and privilege to live before this child a life that becomes the gospel, to exercise all godly care that he be brought up in the Christian faith, and that he be taught the holy scriptures, and that he learn to give reverent attendance upon the private and public worship of God? If you'll do that, your answer is, we do. Will you endeavor to keep this child under the ministry and guidance of the church, until he, by the power of God, shall accept for himself the gift of salvation and be confirmed as a full and responsible member of Christ's holy church. If you'll do that, your response is, we will. Church, we take an oath too. Will you live lives before this child and this family and support them in their endeavor to raise this child to know Jesus and to become a man after his own heart? If you'll do that, would you say we will? Amen. Let's pray together. Lord, we thank you for this precious child, for the potential that his life holds. We ask today that you would make him a man after your very own heart that he would grow to know you, to love you, to follow you all the days of his life. Bless his family. Give them strength. Give them wisdom. Give them courage to face the future unafraid because you are the one who holds our past, our present, and our future. And we can trust you. This we pray in the strong but gentle name of Jesus and all God's people say.